Over 10,000 people were expected to watch the parade in downtown Lidditz tonight to celebrate the 4th of July and continue their holiday traditions. While the beavers have done some damage to the trees, there will be no damage done to them. The beavers will be safely transferred to a new location. Now the chances of drowning after you've been out of the pool are very slim. However, you should still take the necessary precautions to keep yourself safe. After 20 years of placing her special touch on Wilbur Chocolate Factory, June is finally hanging up her apron. I'll tell you more about her sweet story. This park will soon be suitable for all children, including those with disabilities. Trooper Weaver will be added to this plaque dating all the way back to 1906 of Pennsylvania State Police troopers who have lost their life in the line of duty. The 26th Annual Patriotic Parade kicks off the 4th of July holiday here in Lidditz tonight. I'm Taylor Tosh, and I'll be telling you all about the celebrations. The barn was mainly used for storage, however, it did spread to neighboring houses. With the beaver population growing, it might also come with a cost. I'm Taylor Toshep, and I'll be telling you why. And a park that inspired a community is about to reach their goal of adding all-inclusive equipment to a playground. It's their hopes that the existing linear park in Warwick Township will be accessible for all children, including those with disabilities. For years, beer distributors only selling cases and 12 packs, but now six packs and singles. With only two days away, the new owner expects opening day to be a sold out show. Seniors here at Harrisburg High are getting their applications in so they can get a taste of what college life is really like. Most people associate drowning with being submerged in water. However, as scary as it may sound, drowning can actually happen hours, even days after you've left the pool. There are three general outcomes that we associate from that. Someone can, can die. Someone can basically walk away without any deficits whatsoever, or they can suffer some sort of deficit. Dry drowning happens when you inhale water, which causes your vocal cords to spasm and close within hours. While secondary drowning builds up in your lungs over time. Jackson knows from the impact to understand the dangers of dry drowning. He tends to still get the water in his mouth, and we just, I mean, we just are very vigilant on keeping an eye on him. Jassa Laura, the head lifeguard at Reamstown Pool, says they always alert parents when they see a child inhale water and tell them they should get checked out by a doctor. We talk to the parents if it's like a little kid that has a parent here and inform them that we think the child has swallowed a lot of water and it would be best to make sure they get checked out and stuff. Now the chances of drowning after you've been out of the pool are very slim. However, you should still take the necessary precautions to keep yourself safe. Learning to swim and uh, wearing personal flotation devices for those who can't helps to prevent the situation that might cause drowning to occur in the first place. But if water is inhaled, according to the American Osteopathic Association, the of prevention here is worth more than two pounds of cure. Check it out. Any small cost that that might, might have certainly uh, is nothing compared to the cost of a human life. Reporting in Ephrata, Taylor Toshep, News 11. The three children that were rescued from their Halifax home and near death are now experiencing some delayed Christmas cheer. I was heartbroken. And so were many others. Christmas time is a happy time and it didn't turn out to be for them. Denise Rickert lives across the street from the home where three children were rescued after telling state police that their parents locked them in a room for three months with no heat, starvation, and close to death. I think they should get showered with some gifts and toys and they deserve that. What they have gone through for the past three months, I think they need something to bring up their spirits. That sounds like a job <laughs> for Santa. I wanted to give the kids a hug. I wanted to help. I wanted to let them know somebody loved them. Brian Rosenbaum is a retired reverend who has played a professional Santa Claus at Hershey Park for decades. A man who keeps his Santa decorations up all year round. But if I want you to feel love, it's up to me to love you. If I want you to get a coat because I think you're cold, it's up to me to get it. So, like any Santa would do, he made a list. Found out the kids, one of the things they want is they want to go get a real meal. He picked up the phone and made calls to local restaurants asking for donations. I thought, wouldn't it be great if we got a restaurant 
a night for a month. And he's on the right track. With eight restaurants in just two days, he's also working alongside of Dauphin County Children and Youth Services, making sure these kids get new clothes and toys for some delayed Christmas cheer. I can pick up my telephone and call somebody, and make a difference, bring a smile to somebody's heart. Children and Youth said they have not set up a GoFundMe page, but if you wish to donate directly, just give them a call. Working for you in Dauphin County, I'm Taylor Tashef, ABC 27 News.